Okay, so this is option C, freshwater for IP geography, and the syllabus point is the growing importance of integrated drainage basin management, also known as IDBM, plans, and the costs and benefits they bring. Okay, so what is an IBDM plan? It basically emphasizes the cross-disciplinary coordination of water, land, and related resources in a river basin, watershed, or catchment to achieve long-term sustainability. It highlights the importance of ecosystem function in the long term and reminds us that an integration of policies, decisions, decisions and costs are necessary across a multitude of sectors. So basically this idea of having collaborative, um, a collaborative scheme to lead to sustainability, holistics or concerning, you know, economic, environmental, social factors also involves a lot of planning, monitoring, researching and community mobilization. So engaging the local community and just this very integrated scheme, basically. So this is another kind of um, diagram to show like this. It's basically this idea of like an overlap of all of these different processes. So these institutions and activities all this geographical kind of um, these geographical ideas and then these processes of the water cycle and how those overlap so in terms of policy structures needing to be built use demand and supply and that all contributes to the one project um, yeah okay and now we have a case study so the case study is the is america's water shed initiative so this is Ba mainly on the Mississippi River watershed and that covers all a part of two Canadian provinces and 31 states. More than half the goods and services consum consumed by US citizens are produced with water that floats through this great watershed. So this is a map of all the basins involved in this watershed area. So the scheme is basically um, well, here's like a kind of indicator that they use. So they're considering recreation, ecosystems, flood control, risk reduction, transportation, water supply, and economy. And they basically like grade the system. So this right now has a D plus and the green is what's good. And then the red is like what needs improvement. And then yellow is all right. And then um, orange is like, it's like not great. So the location is obviously Mississippi, USA, but I guess it's mainly like the whole um river catchment area um of like all of these basins and the river length is 3800 kilometers it's the longest river in north america and as i mentioned more than half the goods are made there in the u.s like that people consume in the u.s methods used there are embankments levees stones raised banks etc it's a project aimed to increase water availability and safeguard its use for future generations and the main aims are here to enhance ecosystems to provide flood control, risk reduction, transportation, water supply, economy, ecotourism, opportunities, and recreation. So just this very integrated scheme to manage this river as it is extremely important for the whole nation, but it's also very important for trade um, internationally. So it has economic benefits, it has social benefits, and it has environmental um, kind of precautions that need to be taken.